Oh, my friends, welcome to this week's buzz. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Where where'd you find the run on the Denny's uniforms? <laughs> I just need a black tie and I'll be the <laughs> Colonelette. I'll take some hash browns fully loaded. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> hey, big, big, big news. So we had our trunk or treat originally scheduled for tomorrow, but we had to move it because the county said so. Yeah. And we're gonna do what they say. So we are now moving our trunk or treat to next Saturday, Halloween day from noon to two. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pre-register. Just make sure you show up to the Grand Central Plaza about noon and you'll get your candy at the end. We'll give you a full bag, which you would have received stopping at all the trunks. The trunks are still gonna be there, but what you would have received stopping, you're just gonna get at the very end, okay? Now it is kind of a first come first serve because yeah. obviously, you know, we, we could see a lot of people with Halloween just going crazy. And if there are any changes, we will make sure to get that out to everyone too because it is a little bit of a, a little bit of a tense time right now sure. around the Twin Tiers. Now the way we'll do that is facebook.com slash Scott and Allie. I think that's the best place that we'll you be You can listen you. anytime yes. you want. Uh, hey, from there, talking about Halloween, uh, this may be the way around having kids coming up and all sticking their hands in a bowl to get candy or really too much close contact. Well, this one mother has come up with a brilliant idea. It's called candy sticking. Have a, have a look at this. She's basically taken sticks and she's taped the candy to it and created a field of candy in her front yard. That way the kids can come up, grab one, and you're on your way. And what's best better about this than a bowl full of candy because mm. you can dump a bowl full of candy into your bag real quick mm -hmm. it's kind of tough to reach down and just you know grab it all so you can take it one and you're on your way i said a t-shirt gun but uh, apparently <laughs> shooting a kid's eye out with a snickers was frowned upon it's all fun till an eye's gone <laughs> now but. look at this purse i love this purse this is instead of a handbag it's a hen bag <laughs> And I think it looks so cute. And do you guys remember Roseanne back in the day, how she always had the chicken hen sweatshirt? Mm -hmm. It's a perfect match for that. This is called Farmer Chic, for those of you that are looking. Actually, it's really affordable. It's online for like 33 bucks. And on my Christmas list. Oh, nice. Now, if you are thinking of getting a flu shot uh, or it's on your schedule to do, Get a full night's sleep the night before you get the shot. There's some research that came out that said it's more effective. It's less of a uh, irritant to the body because some people are sensitive to them. So if you're thinking of doing it, hopefully you are, get that full night's sleep beforehand. And who in Bluebell says cooking sheet? Not cookie sheet, cooking sheet. Apparently the real word is cooking sheet. Actually, I think the real word for this is baking pan. And, and actually, we're going to toss it back to the news desk. What do you guys call it? I say baking pan. I say cookie sheet. And Scott, I'm not going to lie. I also call it a cookie sheet, and I kind of got myself in trouble. I didn't realize what he said. He stole my cookie sheet. I'm not happy about it. I want my cookie sheet When back. we got new ovens, they made them so much smaller in our apartments, and I needed to borrow uh -huh. it for a frozen pizza, uh -huh. naturally. Sure, sure. And uh, I had yeah. to steal yours. <laughs> Jess, what do you call it? Well, I, I call it a bunch of different things. I call it a baking sheet. I call it a cookie sheet. I just call it a baking pan. So I'm in the middle of everything. I agree with both of them. I can't really pick a side because I, I use both words. I'm Team Allie. Uh, what, whatever is being cooked on it, it makes me happy. So it doesn't matter what it's called as long as there's food on it. I'm a happy camper. I agree with that. But the time's